So hi guys, for today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how I passed the AZ204 examination. So I'll give you some tips and tricks that I do when I was studying it and what are the resources that I use for the exam. So first is, before we start in the video, I just want to show you that I passed the AZ204 yesterday from the testing center so as you can see uh, from when you go to your microsoft learn account and to the certification so as you can see there's an online verifiable uh, certification uh, provided by microsoft so a microsoft certified azure developer associate so when you view certification details you can um, view this page also so now uh, let's now share with you the resources that I use when I am studying. So first of all is uh, I go on to the YouTube and search for is it all for uh, exam cram. So I happen to watch this video. Uh, it was three years ago, but uh, it is good if you want to know the basics of the resources that it use uh what good in this uh video uh it tackles on every topic so example uh this is develop azure compute solution which is the 25 and 30 percent of the exam it he tackle all the topics in this one so you can use some uh timestamp here that if you want to skip on some part of the videos so uh that's it and what works for me is i do uh do this uh i try to note everything that uh, the video said for me to understand and remember some of the the keywords in this uh specific research so for example uh an azure function and uh, it might um, be a trigger or a binding so all in all so that's the first tip or trick that I do. Uh, it is also good if you want to watch the AZ204 provided by Free Code Map. Here. So there you go, this one. Uh, it also helps in understanding uh, a more uh, uh, a more in-depth about the exact the topics so it does have the x.509 certificate and such uh, it tackles mostly specific of the resources and topics here so if you have time uh, this azure developer associate is it over provided by free code Camp, is much better from the first one because the first one it is like if you're cramming for for you to learn some of the resources so next that uh, i use is the the 30 iq this one is the uh the best uh tips that i will able to give uh, unfortunately this thing is not for free you need to pay uh, ten dollars for to access this ma uh, material so you can just go on 30 iq Dot com then download free thumb now so as you can see i do have the the premium so just search of ac204 here then and as you go here as you can see uh it does tackle some of uh example questions that will pop up so you have this type of questions you can show answer and it also uh give references for the for the question that uh it given so this 30 iq is the uh what i recommend in studying because it helped me truly uh, in the in passing the uh, examination so uh, i noticed also some of the questions that happens to be here was also pops up in the examination questions so you can view it so if you don't want the this type of uh in a website you can download the full pdf uh which is this one as you can see this is the premium material uh there you go 
you can view it it's just the same but it is not interactive at all but you can use also this if you want to search some resources or topics that you want you can sample you want to search for case study search uh, it also gives case study in this one so for you to give some of the uh, summary of the exam so it does consist of questions that tackles mostly on azure compute and solutions and then it also gives on azure storage mostly and also for the monitoring part which is such as application insights it also happens to have a, a lot of questions all about uh, azure blob storage azure storage files and such so that are that is the most of the questions that i do get i also do recommend that you study on azure cli because it pops up uh, mostly also in the exam so going back on this one uh, you can also when you uh, uh upgrade to a premium you can also do a practice test just search again the az204 so this is also helpful if you are taking other examination not just az204 as you can see you can search other exam here you can go az500 if you're uh for cyber security and such uh it is also good for you yeah you can also use other certification provider it has google cisco amazon if you want to take uh practitioner and such uh, it is also good in this uh website so this website mostly is the best tips that i'll be able to give unfortunately this is not for free i I'll, i will repeat it again for you to not expect that it is free but this is a premium you just need to pay ten dollars for uh this one and you will be able to get the these questions uh all in all for you to uh, study mostly of it then i think that's all of it uh in terms of the uh, resources that I use, I just do practice exam, uh, review mostly on the uh, key topics or keyword that the resources that do have. Uh, uh, example, this one, uh, Azure function, every function has a host configuration file name, host that JSON and such like that. Uh, that is also good if you want to know, know first the concept of the resource. Uh, and I think that's all of it. If you were asking also, I, I would also like to add that if you're asking uh, about the structure of the exam, it is mostly uh, drag and drop, uh, multiple choices that is also uh, prominent or pops up most in the examination. And I also do recommend uh, understanding architecture because there are some case study that pops up in the examination and such and i think that's all of it for you to help for the exam uh i hope you 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 the best in passing the examination uh so that's it for the video uh, i hope it helps you don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below if you have questions or uh, you, you're asking for some tips for passing the exam i will be happy to uh, assist you in, in this one so if you also pass uh, i would be glad to leave a comment uh, after this one so i think that's all for the video thank you guys